The Queen visited Texas in May of 1991, traveling to Dallas, Austin, Houston, and San Antonio. I was part of the team covering her visit. During her seven-hour visit in North Texas, she accepted gifts from Dallas and Fort Worth, visited the Garden Center in Fair Park and the Meyerson Symphony Center before spending the night in a hotel. In Austin, she attended a dinner with then-Governor Ann Richards. Former Senator and NATO Ambassador Kay Bailey Hutchison was also there when she was the state's treasurer. Fox 4's Stephen Dial spoke with the former ambassador about that meeting. Stephen. Clarice, 31 years ago, the Queen and her husband were in Dallas and they stayed at the Adolphus Hotel downtown. Today, Texas dignitaries talked about her legacy, her leadership, and the personal side of her. May 1991, Queen Elizabeth II made several stops in Texas. In Austin, she met with then Governor Ann Richards. The it's in the early 90s when she came to Texas. She wanted to see Texas. And she came and had a wonderful visit. Uh, Ann Richards was governor, I was treasurer, state treasurer, and the gallery around the rotunda filled up to see her when she came in and she was just awed by the response and people clapped and they were so supportive of her wanting to come to our capital. Former U.S. Senator and Ambassador to NATO Kay Bailey Hutchison met the Queen during that visit. Queen Elizabeth spoke to the legislature, lawmakers gifting her cowboy boots for all of her grandchildren. I thank you and the members of both houses for this generous resolution and also for your very kind gifts for my grandchildren. Lucy Baines Johnson, the daughter of former President Lyndon Baines Johnson, released a video statement reminiscing about the Queen's 1991 visit to the library named in honor of her late father. Just feeling a sense that I was a part of history. I was in their wake, telling them that I knew they belonged to Great Britain, but I really felt they belonged to the world. The Queen was the first British monarch to visit Texas, and during her stop in Dallas, she stayed at the Adolphus Hotel downtown. Shortly after her visit, Buckingham Palace sent this thank you photo with the letter and the Queen's signature. It's hung in the hotel lobby since 1991. Hutchison says, while the queen appeared to most stoic, that wasn't who she was when you met her in person. You sit next to her for dinner. I mean, were you nervous? Well, y yes, because they sort of tell you um, that you shouldn't ever ask her a question. You should make a statement. They really prepare you for that. But then when you're with her, you you're totally comfortable. You can do uh, the things that, you know, maybe aren't exactly correct, and she's so gracious. Former President George W. Bush called Queen Elizabeth II, quote, a woman of great intellect, charm, and wit, describing their time at Buckingham Palace and having tea with Her Majesty and her corgis, some of the, quote, fondest memories of the presidency. Mr. Bush said Queen Elizabeth ably led England through dark moments with her confidence in her people and her vision for a brighter tomorrow. Hutchison says the Queen was genuinely interested in learning about the culture in Texas. She met the Queen a second time when NATO leaders, including former President Donald Trump, were invited to Buckingham Palace in 2019. Hutchison says the Queen's legacy will be her willingness to adjust and her consistent leadership. She also had a way of changing when it was necessary to change. And sometimes leaders don't do that. And um, she showed that you have to have an instinct when you're a leader of maybe making an accommodation or maybe doing something that you didn't uh, think you should do or could do or uh, maybe it was outside of your comfort zone. And she did that uh, on several tough decisions. And we all know the iconic Dallas skyline is usually lit up depending on what's going on tonight. The Reunion Tower Ball is dark to honor the Queen's death as the nation and world are mourning. And behind us, the Bank of America building is lit up in the Union Jack colors.